This is one of my favorite desserts. It's not something I've ever made on a cooking show because it's too special and dear to my heart. It's got to be for the best thing I ever made. It's so rewarding and it's really rare that you have those moments as a professional chef where you make something and you take a bite and you say, this is exactly how I wanted this to taste. These beignets, they're something people can't get enough of. Beignet is a form of donut, traditionally covered with a little bit of powdered sugar. I had my first beignet at Café du Monde in New Orleans, and it was a life-changing experience. So when I became the executive chef at Butter in New York City, one of my first missions was to recapture that moment in New Orleans and make my own. Now, it doesn't require a lot of special things to make this recipe at home. It's a yeast dough. And you start with the lifeblood itself. Let's use some active dry yeast. And to that, I'm gonna add a cup of warm water. Mix the yeast and the warm water together. And you'll see that start percolating right away. If you don't see that little bit of activity, it probably means that your water might not be hot enough. Throw it out and start again. Now whisk in a cup of flour. Whisk it together, cover that with plastic, and put it in a warm place. It's really warm in here, so I'll just leave this out. And let it double up in size. That's sort of the engine of these beignets. And then you take your room temperature butter and the granulated sugar, and you just start whipping that together. Now what you're doing is creaming the butter and the sugar together. And this is going to really create a tender texture to your beignet. And now I'm going to add the eggs one by one. Teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of vanilla extract. That little bit of vanilla really makes a difference. You're going to want to add a lot more flour, because this is a cakey kind of beignet. And once that's all mixed together, take out the paddle and work the dough slowly like it's bread with my dough hook for a few minutes. You look down into the bowl, and it'll just kind of become a little ball. That's when you take that yeast mixture that's been proofing, gently with a spatula, scrape it into the same bowl with the eggs and the butter and the flour. You see how lively that yeast mixture became? And I'll just let that spin for a few minutes until everything is integrated. Transfer that to a clean bowl. I'm going to grease the bowl beforehand so that as the dough rises and grows, it doesn't stick to the sides. Put it in a warm place and let it rise. So after the mixture is risen, turn it out onto a floured surface and just pat it down with your hands, a little bit with a rolling pin, until you get about an inch, inch and a half in thickness. Cut all the little beignets, put them on a tray, let them rest for a minute. When they've proofed a little bit, they look like this. And then I drop the beignet in small batches into the hot oil, and they'll frizzle and sizzle in the most wonderful way. Oh, these look awesome. So puffy and fluffy and light. Fish them out once they're nice and golden brown on all sides. Drain them. Put a little bit of raspberry jam in the middle for that nice little fruity tang. And just do a little roll in some granulated sugar. And then make my vanilla sauce to go with them. It's a combination of egg yolks, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, granulated sugar, two vanilla beans, whole milk and heavy cream. This is like a classic creme anglaise or a custard sauce. And then I put the vanilla sauce in a container on the side for dunking. Yum. Wow. And you just grab that first beignet. It's so warm, it's like grabbing a pillow. It's like it has a heartbeat. If you squeezed it, it would be like dun 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 dun. It's alive. And you just dunk and bite. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's icky. It's bready, it's yeasty, it's got a little hint of vanilla. The raspberry jam, a little bit of tang meandering through the middle. That does not get old. You have a restaurant where something's been on the menu for that long, and some of those employees have worked there the whole time, and they're still eating them? That's the best testimonial of all. It's like a girlfriend that you can't break up with. I like that. Cheers. <laughs>